Hi, I'm Chase Garbarino. And I'm Greg Gomer, and this is the Boston OB. We are gearing up this week for our big summer kickoff on Thursday night at Tia's, Bostino de Mayo. Uh, thanks to our wonderful partners, Fama PR, Atlas, Inside Squared, and of course, Tequila Avion, where the margaritas will be flowing. Yep, so technically sold out. Uh, all free tickets are gone. If you buy t-shirts, all the donations go to Tug. We will prioritize you getting in. And if you promise not to send us feedback, you might have a better shot again. Well, obviously we're having some problem, and it sometimes happens with live television. Let's talk about Robocop. Oh, hell no. <laughs> we'll do it live. It. Massive one this week. Uh, Chinese e-commerce company Alibaba has filed paperwork for its massively anticipated IPO. Could be one of the biggest IP tech IPOs of all time. They filed a placeholder for about a billion dollars uh, in their initial public offering, could be more. Mm -hmm. uh, and their valuation currently sticks anywhere between 150 to 200 billion dollars. Yeah, some, uh, the sheer scale of this company is insane. Three billion in Q4 2013 revenue, which was up 66% on 2.4 billion in gross profits. That's insane. Uh, the sources, uh, Wall Street Journal was quoted in one of their articles have them doing upwards of 240 billion in sales in 2013, also crazy. I think the only question is, uh, there's a lot of, lot of rumors from uh, some people that there are unanswered questions about their books. The SEC is looking into something like 130 Chinese companies that are traded here in the US about their accounting principles, so. <laughs> Uh, there were reports that Nanigan's COO uh, is out. He actually is out, Mark Grabowski. Um, there are also rumors that the company is going through some additional growing pains. Uh, VP of marketing, uh, rumored to be leaving, a little bit of a corporate restructuring happening. Um, so we're going to be keeping uh, an eye on Nanigan's you know, as they continue to grow. Uh, Grabowski, the COO, is definitely a loss. He's the real deal. <laughs> We've got a lot on tap, starting with Bostino de Mayo, and then you've got, you've got quite the pack schedule. I mean, there's a lot of action coming up. A um, uh, couple guys are going to Mohegan Sun. I like to call it Brohegan Sun. <laughs> um, Scott Savitz, Dave Balter, Court Johnson. We're going to hit the tables this Friday. Uh, next week, we're in San Fran mm -hmm. at the NVCA conference. After that, we go on meetings to LA, Chicago, Vegas, Boulder, stint in Charleston or two. Well, <laughs> work and play being mixed in here. The beat's everywhere. I, I'm really happy for you. I'm gonna let you finish. Unwanted feedback. Uh, trends going in the wrong direction where it seemed to be getting more and more of it. Uh, starting with the city's own chief of staff. Dan uh, Coe. Dan Coe. Calling us out last week for not having, not having beers in the beat. Uh, frankly, I blame Dan for yeah. the lack of packies around uh, Space 57 in the Revere Hotel. Liquor so, license an issue of the city, we you know, know that. Before you start tweeting, my friend, look inward. And uh, also a lot of, lot of threats last week. Yeah, too. a lot of threats. Physical uh, threats. Physical threats. That's we a fun addition. We mentioned the, the Dave Balter doing less thing and, and uh, you know, his crew over at 500 Harrison in the South End, super offended. Mm. Uh, tweets, awkward Facebook messages, watch mm. your back type stuff. Letters um, with letter, you know. The magazine letter the magazine things, thing. like Scream-esque. Yeah. Uh, too sensitive, guys. Yeah, yeah, too much, too much. Two more bits of news this mm. week, again. No. Uh, rumors out that Dr. Dre is looking to buy Tom Brady and Giselle's mansion in California. The other bit no of news uh, with Tom Brady is his amazing blonde faux hawk that he sported over the weekend at the Kentucky Derby. This guy's a fashion icon. I dig the hair. I'm thinking about trying it. It's terrible. Our quarterback, our three-time Super Bowl champion quarterback has been Yoko ono uh, No one can relate to him. I don't think we're gonna win with him at the helm, and of course you support it. Hey, look good, you play good. It's total. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know what to say. 
It's this terrible. is the Boston OB. It's terrible. Thanks for coming out. I hate it. Are right. we on? Are we, are we live? No one said action. Are we live? Live? <laughs> Team me up and then cut it out.